Hi, and welcome to question six of the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Maths. If you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So getting stuck in, this question here is set. Um, it's got a big chunk of marks, 20 marks, and there's, only, there's no parts. This, this is the question. One of my problems with sets is lots of words, so be, be careful reading through it. I have often made mistakes by not reading the question carefully. And it says here that 80 students in a group were asked what they had done during their holidays. So the universal set there is equal to 80. Now it says some of the students got a job, so that's the set J for job. Some went on holidays, that's the people who went on the set for people who went on holidays. And then you've got the, um, the intersection of them. Okay, people who went had, had got a job and went on holiday, and then the people aside who didn't eat, who did, you know, didn't get a job, didn't go on holiday. Now it says one fifth of the students in the group did neither, so they didn't do both. They didn't do a job, didn't go on holiday, so they're outside here. Now one fifth of the universal set is one fifth times eighty, which is sixteen. So that's sixteen. Now, um, then we're told more information. 25% of the students got a job. So there's 80 students. So 25% of um, 80 is equal to 20. Basically, a quarter of 80 is 20 students. Okay. Now, the people who got a job are all in the entire set. Of those students who got a job, half also went on holidays. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 10 people who got a job also went on holiday, and they should be in there. Now, if 10 did both, 10 only did a, got a job, so there's 10 there. Okay. Now, the last thing is how many went on holidays? So there's 80 people in total, okay, is equal to the 16 who did neither, plus the 20 who got a job or went on holiday, plus I don't know. Now I can do this by algebra, I can add them together, I get 80 is equal to, that's 36 plus x. Now I've run out of space here, but I want to solve this. I'm going to get rid of the 36 by taking it away, do it one side, I've got to do it both, and I end up with x is equal to, or the, the holiday people, 80 take away 36 should be 44. Do all my numbers add up to give 80? 10 and 10 is 20, uh, 20 and 44 is 64, 64 and 16 is, is the 80. And that's it, not too bad, okay? Um, I read through and did as I went through, but I would always suggest reading the question in full, okay? Then read it again and fill in any information you can, okay? And then hope you can work through the different problems. But with 20 marks, like you're trying to pick up, you know, at least seven, okay? Moving on then, if you can, up to the, the uh, the high partial and up to the full max. Okay, so that's it. So that's the answer done out in the notes. Um, and if you want to copy the notes, just send me an email at shanetry@gmail.com. And again, please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. Thanks very much.